We haven't even started and we found our first piece of surface gold. Oh, look at that. Another piece of gold. This spot is so cool. Good morning or good afternoon everyone. Welcome, if you're new here, my name is Polly. Today I thought we would look for some gold along a creek I haven't been to in a long time, which happens to be the creek I first started finding gold. Now, I don't expect to find much because the water is high, but we're outside, so let's have some fun. Hey, nice beard. Thanks. It's my face jacket. Okay, I know my face jacket might be a little distracting to you guys, but just for a second, I wanna show you guys this area. This place is beautiful. Tons of places to find gold. So the river used to be up this high back millions and millions of years ago. So what I'm doing right now is just doing some test pans just to show you guys that you can find gold away from the river. Get nice and deep with the spoon. We all know that gold is super heavy and it's gonna be at the very bottom of the cracks. I should have brought the small pan. The first sign would be black sand. And uh, Uh, bad example. Moving on! I didn't bring my scratcher tool for any crevicing, but I did bring a spoon and then this, uh, this metal bar. And this is a perfect example why I like coming back to this spot. We haven't even started and we found our first piece of surface gold. That is awesome. Little piece of candy. We're rich. We can call it quits. I'm just gonna dig out this crack to the best of my ability with my handy dandy spoon to kind of see what we're looking at. We've got a nice rock that's packed in there, which is a good sign. Whenever you see rocks that are packed in crevices, that just means that the rock has been there for a long time and chances are no one else has cleaned out that area, which means you have a good chance you'll find some candy. Oh, what's that gold? Look at that. Another piece of gold. That is too cool. Oh man. See, four years ago, I would have freaked out at finding that piece. This means nothing to me now since I was introduced to underwater sniping, but nothing beats being out here in nature. Finding gold. Sticky, sticky material. Awesome. Well, for sure, nobody has been in this spot before because not only are we finding gold here, but we're finding super packed, sticky material. Oh, look at that. The rock. So this is the material that we just dug out from this little bitty crack. So let's quickly pan this out and see if it's worth continuing, which it will be, I'm sure, because we found surface gold. I don't know why the water's so warm. Yay. I smell candy. There you go. A little bit of gold, not tea bag. I'm happy with that. This place is so much more consistent finding gold than the other place I normally go to, which is more nuggety, but when you're looking for fine gold, if you want to have it consistently, I recommend going here, the Souk River. So I just cleaned out this crevice to the best of my spoon ability, and this is what we found in the second pan. Not as good as the first one, but it's still pretty consistent. 
I just found some loose bedrock right here, which is gonna allow me to look deeper into this crevice to hopefully find more candy. Look at all this. All this is crevice material. That is awesome. Big splash? Big splash! Sorry. Where'd my spoon go? If you want to be a good miner, unlike me, bring more than just a spoon. Let's see how much of a difference moving that piece of bedrock made. Probably none. But probably some. Did we waste our time? That eh, depends who you ask. A little worse, but it's still gold. Not as good as our first and second pan, but uh, let's find more. So here's that little crevice I just cleaned out. There is a lot of sand in there, which means that the material in this spot hasn't sat here for long enough to actually accumulate any gold. So what I'm thinking is that somebody already came here and worked it. But we have a pan full of material, so let's see what was in there. Definitely the most full pan of the day. I'm pretty confident there won't be much in this one. Yep. Micro poop. Since I only worked it with a spoon and without an actual crevice tool, I probably left gold behind too. So those people who are watching this video who know exactly where I'm at, you're welcome. Free gift. So unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. Today we started a bit late, so it kind of got... Uh, that moss looks so cool. So let's go back to the house and see if we can weigh the gold. What are you doing? Let's go back to the house and see if we can weigh what we found. Ah, back in the room now. Fun day, but it was kind of short. Can we weigh the gold? Probably not. Today was more of a hurry up and make another video kind of day. But hey, I ain't complaining. Honestly, I don't think this is worth weighing, but we did find gold. And honestly, I found a little more than I expected with the lack of tools I had today. As for the next adventure, I'm getting off this island and going to the mainland to explore some other areas of interest. So if you did enjoy this video, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. So please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button or check out my other social media for more. And if you want to support the channel even further, I do have a merchandise store open at pioneerpoly.com. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support and until the next one black screen with logo Tons of places to find gold